right so in today's video i'm going to be explaining why it's so important to actually get on and feeding your lawn on a regular basis at first glance this lawn doesn't look too bad to be honest it's fairly green there's a consistent color but if i bring you in just a little bit closer you'll start to see we've got quite a lot of yellowing on the blades and believe it or not this lawn hasn't actually been cut in almost two weeks and that's simply because this lawn hasn't had a feed since may and the time of recording we're sort of getting towards mid august so it's absolutely in need of a feed you might be able to see the difference in color between this lawn at the front and this grass verge over here now ignore the fact that it looks like the jungle book with how long the lawn is at the moment but you can clearly see that the lawn at the front there is a very different shade of green to this one and it's because this lawn had a feed around about two weeks ago and the main thing the feed's going to do is turn the grass greener but also give it that boost of growth as well and you may even be able to see the difference as well between the front lawn and the lawn in the back garden too now this one doesn't look massively different to the lawn at the front in terms of color but it's because this lawn is a different species altogether. This lawn I'm still in front of now is a bent fescue lawn, which is different to the ryegrass out at the front. So it is a lighter shade of green, but we've got a much more dense sward in the back. It's cut a little bit lower and you can see the stripes just look amazing. And it's a lawn that's fed on a regular basis as well. And again, if we do what we did at the front and bring you in a little bit closer to the sward, you'll be able to see that we don't have a lot of yellowing on this lawn whatsoever because there's enough sort of nutrients and good bacteria in the soil profile. But before we talk about the feed we're going to get down on this lawn today, let's get the mower, let's give it a cut. And it is going to be interesting as well to see how much actually comes off this lawn because like I've already said, it is a ryegrass lawn and when you feed it, the thing grows vertically that you wouldn't believe. So with it being almost two weeks since it's last cut, let's see how much really comes off. So you can see there, that's all that's come off the lawn. And after two weeks, it's not a lot at all. I mean, I've taken more off it in 24 hours when it's been fed than it has there. Been obviously neglected of a bit of a feed. Now, for the most part, I wouldn't recommend using a drop spreader like this to put fertilizer down. However, because of the nature of the space, it makes a little bit more sense because if you use a normal rotary spreader, what's gonna kind of happen then is half the product's just gonna end up across the road or in the bush. Uh, and it's a lot of product wasted then so by using a drop spreader it just means getting more accurate application across the lawn I don't waste any product however it does come with its risks which is having sort of strips which are darker or lighter than others because when you get on with the drop spreader if you miss a particular patch you're gonna have a strip of grass which you know won't have been fed or you'll overlap and you'll end up with a strip that's a little bit darker uh, which is obviously not something that you want to happen however if you go one direction and then the other direction you kind of mitigate that a little bit you do open yourself up to a checkerboard pattern but very rare if, you know it can happen if you take your eye off the ball whereas if you actually focus on what you're doing you're not gonna die no one's gonna die you'll be fine so we're using the grass people's spring some fertilizers today it is their quick release and it is the fertilizer that i used on the grass verge at the front the reason why i'm getting on this lawn with this feed today is that it's done an amazing job on the space at the front on that grass verge so on an instant sort of green and you know within around about five or six days that lawn was looking absolutely amazing and now that's been around about two weeks it's looking absolutely superb so we're gonna get on with it only being 15 square meters i'm gonna go on with around about just over a kilo of the product it is a high application rate on this it's th um, not 35 that's usually for seed that it's a 70 grams per square meter roughly I always put a tiny bit more than what I need just for good luck because um, I always think the measurement's always a little bit of a precaution on fertiliser so put a little bit extra down no one's going to die it's not going to kill anyone there we go so I'm going to put this drop spreader on five if you have to do multiple passes it's the nature of the beast if you've got a big space you kind of only really want to be getting on and doing one two passes at most but if I end up doing three on this space with it being so small it's not too bad As long 
a small amount left in it, so I'm just going to reduce the whole size just to make sure that I don't over apply in certain areas and under apply in others. So there we go, the fertiliser's down. The last thing we've got to do now is just water it in. Now the specifications say on that fertiliser that you need to water it in until the product is completely dissolved. Otherwise, it can lead to scorching your lawn. Now this week is quite a good week for me to put this down because we don't have loads of blazing hot weather. It seems to be cloudy, temperatures are mild. So if you get the water down now, it'll dissolve it nicely, get it down into the soil. And then when the conditions improve, this grass is just gonna absolutely burn. Right, so there we go. It's been a week now since we got on with the Grass People's quick release spring, summer lawn feed. And I think it's safe to say the lawn is looking amazing. I've just get you right in close to the sward now. You can see how consistent that green color is across the entire space and just how thick it actually is as well. And if you wanna keep on top of your lawn all year round, this is why it's absolutely key to be feeding on a regular basis because you can just see the colors really starting to pop the actual sward itself is nice and dense it's nice and thick and overall the appearance is looking absolutely superb now because this is a ryegrass space you can see that the lawn is quite long and it's not being cut for i think around about three days now so that is part and parcel with actually feeding your lawn is the fact that you are going to have to cut your lawn on a regular basis i'll show you how much comes off after the cut uh, in a moment and you might be surprised how much has actually grown in just those three days terms of how much has just come off the lawn I mean it doesn't look like loads but considering that this is only 15 square meters and it's been three days imagine how much would come off if it was 100 square meters now I'm not being funny it could be worse couldn't it I mean this lawn in terms of what it's had on it this year it's had three feeds all granular feeds two from a1 lawn the most recent one from the grass people it's had no humic acid it's had iron but like back in february it's not really in this sort of long hair season and it's had no seaweed either and it just shows you that you know whatever's going on in the soil profile on this lawn must be positive i mean a hollow town aerated it in april so you know having three very basic granular feeds probably the total of the feeds on the lawn probably comes to probably less than 20 pounds for an entire year it's kind of long hair uh, and i would say that you know it's not looking too bad. And that's what this YouTube channel is all about. It's taking gardening, it's taking lawn care, it's keeping it as simple as possible. More often than not, trying to keep it as cheap as possible, which obviously isn't always the case, but this is just testament that you don't really need to do a whole lot to your lawn to actually have a decent space. So, thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. As ever, the Instagram is in the description below. And if you're not already, consider subscribing if you'd like to follow along with more lawn tips like this. And finally, thanks for watching.